what I got to kind of put together. I'm going to show you how you could put together a little um, beauty Christmas uh, bag, or you can use these for stocking stuffers, moms, for if you've got young girls that um, you think would like this. And this is drugstore. So I got this vanilla snowflake body mist. And just vanilla is always a smell that no matter what fragrances people like, they always tend to like vanilla. So, And it's got little Christmas trees and it's green. So I thought that would be pretty to go along with these. And this, these are Christmas nail files. And so each one of them, different colors. And that will look pretty, you know, and kind of along the beauty theme. Then I could put that either in a stocking or in a little bag for a gift. And then put in there with it, along with that same Christmas theme, is, um, and actually this even has the little red and gold snowflakes on this file. And this is red and gold snowflakes on a little eye mask at night. And that does help you to sleep when you cut out all the light. So that's kind of cute. Put that, that, and this in a little bag. And if you want to add a little more, then I got this, which is from Totes, and it's the Women's Super Soft Slipper Socks. And I absolutely love these. They're 99% uh, polyester and 1% spandex, so they're super comfortable. Now let's face it, it is um, clearly a Christmas one because it's got a little reindeer and a little um, Rudolph nose. Isn't that so cute? So putting all that in a little bag would be such a cute little gift. So these are just either you can make this into a little gift bag or you can make it stopping stopping stocking stuffers. And the equivalent of this for young boys. So you could have a nail kit that's you know those little packs for men. You could put that in and then you could put in some fun guy socks and then you could put in um, some toiletries for young guys and maybe whatever you want. If they're old enough, shavers, you know, for the little, shaving their little beards and mustache yet, you know, the little uh, dual blade. Um, and if they, maybe a deodorant or a cologne and they're with it, or if they do men's body sprays, you could get like an Axe body spray and put that down in there and make a little bag or put that down in a, um, a stocking. Um, one thing I would really suggest you don't get for Christmas. Oh, wait. Hold on. Before I say that, uh, another thing that you can put in there is hand creams. And for men, there's, there's men's hand creams or hand, you know, those discs that have the stuff that they can put their hands in to keep them from getting too calloused. Um, but I got this, and this way you can open this and wrap each one in tissue and do two bags out of this or two stockings out of this. Or you could, this, it's just kind of big and bulky to put into a stocking, but it would be cute to put down in a bag. Uh, what I would tell you not to give people for Christmas, don't give face masks. And don't give sanitizers. I know some people are going to be like, uh, that's what I did. Y'all, I don't think we need to highlight or glorify what's happening with COVID in any way. And honestly, for some people, it's really emotional because they've had friends that have had it family that have had it. Sometimes they've died of it. And I just don't think that's, um, you know, I got some antibacterial hand sanitizing wipes to have in the house, but I would not put this in a pouch. Um, if they're just hand wipes that are just, you know, for sanitizing and it matches the Christmas thing, like maybe there's a little, you know, the little tiny packs that you can keep in your purse at all times just for regular, you know, but I wouldn't make it, um, definitely not face mask. I don't, I don't think you know, I've just had, everybody's making face masks um, into everything. And it's like, y'all, I mean, I get that somebody's turning that into retail and a moneymaker and people are out of jobs and maybe that's why they're doing it or it's just an opportunity and they're just trying to fill it, but not for a gift. Anyway, I mean, not for a Christmas present. Anyway, um, oh, that's my opinion. Another thing you can do, especially if you have older friends or if you have uh, teenage girls, or guys, really this would be more of a girl thing, um, to give them some sort of a little um, hand towel of some sort, uh, whether for, uh, for whether it be for, like we have a granddaughter that's now out on her own, and this would be a nice little kitchen towel, or it could go in a, um, a bathroom. This isn't the one I'd probably use because it's so ornately done. This is metallic thread. It would just be something that you sit on the side of the sink for pretty and then put a couple of other ones or the, the paper ones for um, actual use. But it's, that's always nice to throw in there. Um, just it's 
it's just festive. Anything festive like that you can put in. Um, okay, so another thing that I would suggest that you can put in the stocking stuffers for girls if you're putting together one of these beauty things is um, an EOS has long since been a, um, um, what am I trying to say? <laughs> it smells so good too. A lip balm that you can just throw these in your purse. So it's really, I'd get a couple of these there at the drugstore. They usually have them in twos and threes anyway, and I would just buy a couple of those and throw them down in the bag. They're just fun. This one actually uh, came with a little kit and actually made it pretty. I don't know if y'all can see all the little decorative stuff that came with it so that you can actually make it kind of like a pretty piece. <laughs> but anyway, and then also um, maybe kind of a generic lip gloss. Now, when I say generic, I mean something that almost anybody with any skin tone could wear. For instance, a, a pink base or burgundy base. Um, I would not do the orange base because even though that's really popular right now, it doesn't go with every skin tone at all. Um, unless you've got a really good tan or you're really pale and you want that washed out look and you use a good lip liner so your lips will actually show up, I wouldn't get, like, one of my favorite ones for a while by Buxom was White Russian because the way it looked in the bottle, but when I put it on, it totally wiped out my lips because it's the same color as my skin. And so it was... It wasn't just a nude look at white. It just was washing me out. And so I um, I like something more like this. And this is a little buxom as well. And this one is called Star. S-T-A-R-R. -R. And I'm just going to show you. It's just a nice gloss for just on top of. Now you can wear it by itself. But just on top of your lipstick. It just has a nice scent. It's not a flavored scent. Or you know like a fruity or food scent. Um, but it's, it's a nice scent, and it's um, the kind that makes you tingle just a little bit. It's supposed to pucker your lips up. That's not why I get it. I get it because it's a really luxurious lips, lip gloss, and you can get this at your local Ulta or um, Sephora as well. Um, but just any little lip gloss that you can get or a little lip, lip gloss set that you can get at the drugstore, that's always kind of a cute thing to get. And here is another item, hair items. Now, I have some items here that I was going to show you that these are good stocking stuffers or you can put together for your gift to be a, um, maybe like a, a beauty or hair care. And you could maybe do a hair care bag. You could do a skin care bag. Uh, you could do a beauty bag where you just put in like three, maybe four, like maybe one real big thing. And then some little things like, you know, the eye palette or the face palette the big thing. And then you throw in a little, you know, EOS, um, EOS lip balm or a lip gloss. Or if you're doing skincare, you could maybe do a face mask or a really nice face cream. And then maybe put in, uh, you know, something like this, little hand creams. And um, the little nail files, you know, stuff like that. Or if you're doing kind of a bath thing, you could always put in a really pretty Christmas scrunchie. Like a green scrunchie and a red scrunchie. And then put in a really pretty... Um, or a really nice shower gel and then if you wanted to you could do shampoos or one of the things that you can do um, is really nice like this is Pureology this is kind of expensive y'all that would be my big thing if I did a bag like this because this is their Color Fanatic 21 and it is a multitasking leave-in spray the people at the salon swear by this they all use it but it is expensive so I would put maybe this in and maybe um, some really nice shampoos or um, hairsprays. And there's some really great hairsprays that I have been loving. I'll tell you one really good gift if you're going to put like a hair care one together is um, Time T-Y-M-E. Their shampoo and conditioner. And then this Selfie Time hairspray. Y'all, this is so good. But I mean, it is like, it's like, gonna, it's going to stop your hair from moving. Okay, but if you're trying to fix it, I don't have a candle going, so... I'm just going to show you. It's almost out, so it may not work. But, and my hair, I just, it was just raining, so my hair's funny. Let me just see if this will work. Yeah, look at that. I just, it instantly made it look thicker. It's just good stuff. So I love this. Again, that's Time Style, T Y M E, style.com. And I love, um, this is Selfie Time Hairspray. It's a hard hold hairspray. And the shampoo and the conditioner, and they're in the same pretty color, and they're so pretty. That would be a nice gift. Or you could give a piece of one of the expensive ones. Like this is Living Proof. This is Perfect Day Hair 5-in-1 Styling Treatment. Here is another 
styling leave-in treatment. This is It's a 10. I think you can get this at the drugstore, but again, living proof is expensive, so this would be a very nice item to throw in with some of this other if you wanted, or you could do shampoo, conditioner, and treatment, or um, mousse, or like this is the Southern Belle Volume Boosting Mousse, and there's Southern Belle Hairspray, and... I think there's even like a dryer or, you know, different accessories. You can put all that in one bag and just make a hair care bag out of it. Um, or maybe you can do something where they can try a new line. I know that um, hairspray-wise lately, I have really loved my Redken 32, but I've always loved it in this little, little small one. So you could put shampoo, conditioner, and a, a hairspray in a bag. And Redken is fantastic. And usually salons carry it. Um, another one that I've really enjoyed using hairspray wise, it's it's a finishing spray actually. And it's, this is very, very nice. It's a Moroccan oil luminous hairspray. And this is more for care. It's a finishing um, product and it can add volume. I will just use it. But this is not a hard holding spray. This is more to kind of give it some body and texture. I'll just show you. I'm only going to be doing the front half like that. And it just kind of gives it texturization. So that's very nice. And this is a very high-end brand. One of my other favorites, you can get this at Kroger. It even has a sticker on the front. And that is Biolage Hydrosource Leave-In Hair Tonic. And my other favorite hairspray is Sebastian Shaper Plus. So those are just some ideas, um, things that you can do with beauty, skin care, hair care, and maybe some other items that you can get at your local Walgreens, CVS, those kind of places and put together a nice little bag or stocking stuffers. All right, you guys, love you so 